over borders to get where we are And it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for Welcome to today's video where I'm just going to share with you how I use my instant pot to uh, boil arrowroots. One of the reasons why I'm doing this is because one of my subscribers told me that when they boil theirs, they normally come out mushy and they don't know how to go about it. So the first thing is to have your arrowroots cleaned out. And then you're going to use this, um, let me call it stand for now, that separates and lifts the the kind of uh, thing you want to boil for our case it's the arrowroot from the bottom of the pot so it will suspend it up and then when you put water the water will not be touching uh, this uh, pot so this is the inner pot which we are just using to uh, to put in the arrowroots and as you can see uh, I had a large batch by the way from my mother-in-law she's the best I love her so much and she always remembers to send us some of these goodies which once we get in the city they are never the same these are all the way from home so I was trying to arrange them here they are they are they have been cleaned and they've been washed so because I wanted to do just one uh, one boiling uh, like one batch I was trying to arrange and I eventually ended up cutting that bigger piece into uh, into two and it fitted uh, in the pot after this so once you do this the next step as you can see this is well fitted in I had to slice and arrange a few and the trick here is just what i've shown you that suspension so i'm using my uh, kitchen stool because um, the countertop on this side is quite high and that's where the extension is so i will not have gotten a better view this is the um, now the uh, the electric uh, cooker where you put in the um, the inner pot inside there and i'm going to show you how you set it up so that it gives you well cooked and not mushy uh, arrow roots or even sweet potatoes it applies uh, the same way so i put in just two cups of water and uh, mine was warm the reason being i i needed it to build up pressure quickly so if you put warm water you are able to achieve that faster that is another tip then um i'm going to close to close it and mark you this pot cannot close when the inner seal is not well placed so that i have learned over the few days that i've been i've been using it so once you plug in the power on the first thing that comes is is that sign of off and then i will choose pressure cook I am going to reduce that from 30 minutes to 15 minutes. 30 minutes was the last setting that I used. And uh, after I set for the 15 minutes, I'm going to choose the low pressure setting. Because I I mean, these are arrow roots. They shouldn't take so long. And I don't want them to overcook. After that, I turn the pressure valve to to face the the sealed uh, position you have uh, two sealed and uh, venting and uh, after this i will wait for it to build up pressure and when it builds pressure this um part here uh, will will be up will come up yeah you've seen that it has come up and uh, it's now starts the countdown so it has done countdown up to zero minutes and it's done and once it's done 
you see that pressure uh, valve the red part or pink part is still up and i am going to allow this to release pressure on its own for about 10 minutes and uh, that happened successfully and the valve goes down once it that happens you open the pot and you can see my arrow roots are so well done they are so powdery and um they are so nice and the next thing is just to remove them from here and uh, you will see that they don't even have water one of the things that you should know is that the pressure cooker the electric pressure cooker uses steam for some of this item rather than the the water to boil so just check uh, after i'm done uh, removing this from here all the water that we put in here is going to be intact I can even measure it out, measure it back in the uh, jug we used and you'll just see that it is almost the same amount. Just very little evaporation that took place. That way the steam, it released, the uh, built up and it was able to cook. You can also see that the, the arrow roots are so dry and there is the water guys. It has absorbed uh, all the um, the 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 dark color from the arrow roots and i discard that because we no longer need it then after that we are done i'm going to clean this up i was doing this at night so that uh, the next day was an early morning i didn't want to delay anyone leaving so i we are going we are going to peel them and just prepare them for our breakfast the next day